Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Biomutant. As you may be aware, I spent a good few hours recently live streaming the game and I've been enjoying it so far, but it got me to thinking whether it could run on any low-end hardware. I know that maxing it out and recording my 3080 has definitely been struggling a little bit with it. Not necessarily struggling, but you know, a few drop frames here and there for for the rendering and what have you. So I do have a GTX 480, one of my favorite ever graphics cards, one that I owned the first time over a decade ago. Obviously it runs incredibly hot. And yeah, just for fun, I thought I'll see if I can start Biomutant. And I was able to. I tested this before I started doing this sort of recording. And yeah, I thought it would be really interesting to go into the how the GTX 480 performs on Biomutant because, like I say, it was surprised it could run at all. So we're going to go into that. We're going to do a little bit of a of a live talk over on that and just seeing what's what different settings we can do and and how it looks in terms of gameplay. So let's head on over to that. So I switched over to some direct capture now, which is you know I'm using a different microphone and everything else. So that's why it will no doubt sound a little bit different. So I figured I'd just quickly go over the while I load while I load it up. So this is like I say directly captured through a internal capture card on my main computer. So it should give us the actual numbers and performance that you would expect to see on the device without any of the uh, sort of software limitation or anything like that. It gives it its full, its full bandwidth, if you like. I'm not sure if the audio will come through or not though. So we will have to see, I imagine. In any case, ignore the activate Windows thing. I've literally just reinstalled my new Windows. So I have to get myself a new key every time you change motherboard. That's the issue, you know. It is what it is. I was hoping that I would have my overlay on, but I'll have to double check that in a second. So very quickly, it calls, like I said, for a uh, an FX eighty three fifty processor or an i five forty six ninety or any newer processor running at three point five gigahertz or higher. So pretty sort of intensive specs, I guess. Although to be expected, I think for a game releasing in in um, twenty twenty one. It also asks for 8GB system memory, that's not going to be a problem here, and a 4 gigabyte goodness, <laughs> gigabyte card, so it recommends a GTX 960, which of course comes in 2 gigs and 4 gigs, or a R9 3800, no I didn't, no, are they not 3 gig cards? Or well, there's someone, there must be one, maybe it's a 28. I don't know. I think one of them around there is is three gigs though. So yes, yeah, so effectively we're going to start. I'm going to have a look at the set settings. Are we? Mm, maybe we're not. Oh, because I've got my controller. That'll be why I think. So we're going to settings. Have a quick look in in settings as to what I'm going to start running with. So I've set it at 1080p uh, VSync, which, well, yeah. I mean, okay. <laughs> as you can probably imagine, that's that's not going to be an issue. Limiting the frame rate, we're not going to do. And I've set everything to low and fur detail and will draw distance to default because you can't go any lower than that which is a little bit of a shame I don't think you can go any lower than low either you know there's no very low or anything like that so oh, I'm level 9 okay so we'll go back in we'll load up my most recent save and have a look as you can see there's the frame time counter which is why I quite like doing this direct capture because you actually get to have a look at the graph and see where the spikes are in the frame timing which is, you know, one of the things that I've tried to do be a bit more in depth with how I've looked at graphics cards and the such. So I'm hoping that I have set the fan curve to be a little bit more aggressive on the on the uh, GTX 480. Although, you know, let's be honest, you could run it 100 percent and you'd probably still need to be a little bit more aggressive because, yeah, the temp's pretty high. Although, admittedly, not as high as when I had mine the first time that was well I, I don't know what to say about that that was something else okay so it looks like 1080p we're getting what about 20 fps my looks of it my looks of things um i'm also using a controller as well which obviously i don't normally use so um but we'll just have a bit of a play around in the main world i think it looks like it looks oh, i wonder what's going on here because the gpu is only at 
yeah, we're capped to 20 frames. That's a bit bizarre. There's clearly more headroom in the in the GPU. Oh, I'm going to tab out, but then it's probably going to throw me for a loop, isn't it, I imagine? Let's have a look at my afterburner settings. Oh, okay, didn't save my overclock. <laughs> oh, dear, that was not my overclock. What has gone on? What has gone on here? Why are you giving me a memory clock speed of 800? Weird. Okay, well... Maybe this is why it's... Okay, all right, we'll ignore that for now then. See if we can get... So I don't know why we weren't getting 100% utilization. Okay, looks like we are now, although the temps are, are a little bit high, <laughs> on, up in the 80s. That's to be, ex uh, well, yeah, to be expected, in fairness. My original one, well, put it this way, it wasn't uncommon to see it roughly around 100 which is obviously not good in the slightest. but So we're getting 25, 26 FPS, which is not too bad. Um, it, the thing about it is, and I think I noticed about it earlier, was that it, it feels fairly smooth. I mean, I didn't know what it was running at because I didn't have the overlay on earlier, but I did remember thinking it, this feels surprisingly smooth. And I know everything's on low, but really, there's still a lot of detail there. Um, I know they use a lot more tricks when it comes to it being, you know, being low. So I was hoping just to maybe find an enemy to fight. Um, I will say there's like, there's, you can't get as many shots off, <laughs> which is probably one of the, the biggest things I've seen. Like, it's not as easy to shoot. I don't know if that's just because I'm using the controller. And there's some limitation there, which there could quite easily be. Um, so one of the things that we could do, I mean, I guess we're probably saying that this 26 is is best case. I think I actually got 28 earlier, but like I say, you know, you would need to overclock slightly in order to in order to get that. So yeah, um, whether the temps will hold or not, I don't know. But like I say, it's particularly particularly warm as well at the minute, which is not helping. Right, now I've not used controller before, so with this game, so we'll see how badly I get spanked. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this new um, like ice attack thing. I will say the thing about it is it actually holds pretty well. I I know 20 FPS is not like ideal, but don't think we've seen it drop below that and it's not like we're not in heavy combat either oh gosh I forgot this this uh, controller the <laughs> some of the keys some of the buttons are a bit well worn I think is maybe the nicest way of putting it out of the way oh use blink he wasn't expecting that Oh no. I'm concentrating now. Try not to die. Maybe I need to give him a little freeze. Oh wow. Oh no. Gosh, I sort of got a bit I got a bit stuck there for some reason. Making excuses. There you go. If in doubt, give them hell. So that was actually not too bad. I was quite impressed with that. <laughs> the temperature is, is concerning me, though. <laughs> I had one previously that had a sort of aftermarket cooler on it, and that looked that was a lot better, I think. So one thing that one of the tricks that we do have is we can go for a dynamic resolution. Now, I can't remember what 720p is. I don't know if it's 80% or 75% it's one of the two um, so effectively you know you still get to run it at 1080p but it um, scales it down 
So you still get the full screen coverage and everything like that, but textures and stuff are, are taken taken down to the, the next sort of level. So it seems like if you were to mess around with the resolution scaling, you could maybe just about hit 30 constantly. 30, yeah. This feels, um, yeah, a little bit better. I think, you know, a combination of maybe a slight overclock and a little bit of, I think if I had my, I don't know what's going on with the over, with the overclock in software. I don't know what it thinks is going on with the memory. But yeah, I think if you get the slight bump in the in the overclock on the core, so maybe like a, a 750 or a 775 or even 800 if you're feeling brave and you've got the cooling headroom, then, you know, you're definitely looking at 30 FPS on low, native 1080p. So the, or something like that anyway, maybe not native, maybe like 90%. But this is this is more than playable, you know. This doesn't feel any worse than playing Breath of the Wild on the Wii U, <laughs> which which uh, may well be a low bar. But actually, that ran fairly well because that's how I ended up playing Breath of the Wild in the first place. So I don't know. I don't know if this is of any interest to anyone. I don't want to play too much because I'm obviously meant to be doing this for my live stream. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that and I think you know if you had um, maybe an older system with you know I'm talking I'm thinking more like a, maybe like a, a 660 or a 750 Ti or really any 7 really any 700 series card most 600 series cards you know you chances are you can play it pretty well because you know yeah okay you might have to play it on low which is maybe the the one big caveat but it runs perfectly fine so well, I'm having no issue. You know, I had a fight of, was it four or five enemies there? I was moving around. The only thing that really hampered me was the, he's using the controller because I haven't used the controller yet with, with this game so far. And the fact of the matter is, it still looks pretty good. And imagine if you've got a computer with, you know, six, like, for example, a 660 or a 660 Ti, you're probably running a 1080p panel, I would have thought. So, yeah, I don't know. It's great. It still looks good. Still performs well. I'm still enjoying Biomutant. I'm really surprised, actually, that they seem to have gone really overkill on their minimum spec because this game hasn't pushed my CPU at all. Obviously, it is clocked at 4.8 gigahertz, as you can see. So, yeah, so it's, it's not exactly running slow, but, you know, the fact of the matter is that well, yeah, it's using it's a very old, a very old CPU, and anything with any sort of, you know, any sort, of any at least any Ryzen series CPU would have absolutely no issue whatsoever. And we seem to have hit a bit of a max at 88 degrees as well, which is a good thing. Good, <laughs> nice job stopping under 90 there. But I'll leave it. I'll leave it there before I go on too long because I think that'll about do. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are enjoying Biomutant or you, yeah, interested in in the. the the fact that a GTX 480 is still playing it because I'm, yeah, surprisingly surprisingly impressed I couldn't load up, I know it's different, but I couldn't load up um, Cyberpunk or anything anything really new like that and expect to get any sort of playable frame rates out of it, no matter what resolution scaling or anything else, so yeah, this is this is mightily, mightily impressive, alright I'll leave it there, thanks for watching everybody see you next time, bye for now